I with right? Or am I crazy? Are you new, Dylan? But how's it going? Either way. Hope it's going well. Oh ho ho! Secret fish. Got him. All right. Well, I think I already botched that mask, but we'll be restarting time plenty of times. And it's still closed. Maybe I just have to go in at the right time. Because he might have his reservation for like 8 o'clock or something weird like that. I can actually go check and see if he's even here. So it's I think it's the same Goron that shows up in the, um, the bomb shop. And he's the one who sells you the powder kegs. Okay, so that's got its time frame. Sorry, they had kept... Play, replaying a few times hope you're doing well I'm doing I'm doing all right and no worries I I forgot that twitch plays ads <laughs> oh that's right it's because I have prime wow I got so used to it that I, I kind of forgot about it that is that is a weird privilege that I didn't even remember But, yeah, hey, what's up, Dylan? Are you the same Dylan that... Did you change your Twitch name? You might have been uh, stuck behind the ads when I, I first asked that. This training center has friendly, polite, 24-hour, one-on-one training that will noticeably improve your sword skills. From now until the end of the carnival, join at a special discount. So will you try it? Well, I only have two rupees. Hmm, the novice course. It might be my fault I have unblock turned off for some reason. Oh, I, I gotcha. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Snake? I feel like it's been a little while. Everyone, guess who finally got a Triforce Tuesday off? Yes! Finally. <laughs> How's it going, man? Now then, before you draw your sword, I shall teach you the basics of unarmed combat. I'll start with sideways jumps after pressing L to lock onto that log with L targeting. Press A while pushing left or right. Try it yourself. Yes! I did it. Next is the roll attack. After pressing L to... Alright, press A while pushing forward. Yeah. Next is the backflip. I know this one. And think of that log as an enemy and practice your sword skills. First, the horizontal cut. Simply press B. Next is the vertical cut. Press B after L targeting with it. Uh. Oh, there it goes. Yes! Change the capitalization because everyone would pronounce it differently. Ah. That is totally fair. You know, same, same old, same old. I mean, I could be worse but at least it's not worse I guess <laughs> whoops what did I do all right he was teaching me the jab and then the jump attack Hi -ya! well done do not forget what I have taught you and thus far and do not neglect your daily practice ah yes you can press R to defend yourself with the shield did you know that yes I did I hope Jen's doing well. She's doing all right. She's she's hanging in there in there. If I could talk correctly, she's she's doing a lot a lot better than she was last week. But you know, it'll she she's going through a slump, so it'll be on and off with with how she's feeling for a little bit. Hey, brother! Oh, of all places, you're a Goron, so you should be able to carry a powder keg, right? So won't you buy a powder keg? I will buy one, but I gotta get some rupees first. I keep forgetting. First I go to sword training and not have enough for that, and then I go this. Why didn't I just buy more? I saw her Azula cosplay. It looks awesome. It's so good. And she's she's still like beating herself up about it, being like, ah, oh, I should have done this better, or ah, oh, it doesn't fit right. And I'm just like, 
Holy shit, it's- it looks amazing to me too. I'm glad I'm not the only one that feels that way. But Jen's- Jen's so good at this stuff. It's- it's awesome watching her- Hey! Yeah! We were talking about your Azula cosplay. Dylan in chat was talking about how he saw it on, uh, Twitter. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Hi, Jen! Hi, guys! <laughs> you goof. You're all so nice. <laughs> well, yeah. I was about to tell folks how it's it's cool to see your cosplay and how it, like, compares to game development in my brain. Because <laughs> it's like, it looks really ugly until, like, you're at the 99% mark and it's just like, oh, suddenly it's awesome. Yeah. I was a little worried about it until I finished it, the the shirt, but it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's good. It's on Twitter. And she's pen and needle on Instagram. You're the best promoting <laughs> me. My hype man. Let's do my job. <clears throat> <laughs> That's where the comments are. Yep. Yeah, I, I got this computer running just so I don't... The monitor's all the way up there and another computer here so I can control everything. One of these days I'll get a better setup. <laughs> well, don't let me stop you from playing. Okay, yeah, you can hang out. Keep playing. I was just getting some rupees. Dylan says, hi, Jen. Hi, Dylan. <laughs> How's life? So we're finally, whoa, that was weird. We're finally at the, like, let's get all the mask stages. Oh. Or stage, really. I, I could still do the last temple, but I was like, eh. Yeah, I got the masks. Right, it's like, I can do it, so I might as well do it. And that, that to me is like, one of the most fun parts of this game. Because you can burn through it pretty quick. But like. Getting the masks is. One of the most fun. It's it's so good. That's why I don't want to use a walkthrough either, because it's like half the fun is solving some of this shit, and a lot of it's really not intuitive. So I might have to look things up. Like I already goofed up one of them. Well, I goofed up one of the masks, but to be fair, it's also the most complex mask to get in the game. So it'll probably take a few tries. Is it the one I think it is? Life is good. Just having some leftovers. Ooh, Ooh. nice. That'll be me later tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Although I guess it won't be leftovers. It'll just be dinner that has been refrigerated and cold. waited for me. <laughs> leftovers are the best. Yeah. I don't know what to make for dinner. I'll figure it out. Tofu time. Probably. Yes. I'm so happy that he'll let me buy powder kegs. I was worried I was going to have to go through those trials oh, no. every single time. And it's, the trial is, is a huge pain in the butt because you have to go to the Goron Mountain. You have to go kill the boss in the dungeon so that the snow will melt. Yeah. And then you have to take a powder keg up to the racetrack to blow up a boulder blocking the path. And then you get permission to use powder kegs. I remember doing kegs. that. It's such a pain. But they don't give you anything to like, they don't give you like a badge to be like, you are now officially allowed to use powder kegs. The postman whose priority is delivery was added to your notebook. I like how there's postmen in all the other games and they've kind of had this similar outfit. Yeah. Like it's like a background character that stayed around. Well, I mean, he's, he's one of the important characters in this one. He's how you get the bunny hood. But I think that's like, Something along the lines of like a more similar to the official uniform of some version of postmen in in Japan, right? I was in the middle of school playing this the first time and trying to find all the masks was a nightmare. It, it can be really tough, especially if you don't um, really understand how the game wants you to explore and, and, and find them. So I, I, I definitely get that. I kind of like how they got rid of wallets in Breath of the Wild. I respect that it was part of the Zelda formula for a long time, but I always felt like a limitation that didn't add much. Got rid I, of what? The, the wallets. Because it's like in this, oh, yeah. in the last game, in this game, it's like, oh, you have to like, do a thing and then you get bigger wallets so you can hold more rupees. I, I agree with that. I think it was 
okay in these earlier games where it was like, yeah, let's find a way to reward the player in every nook and cranny. But yeah, by the time Breath of the Wild came around, it was like, there's there's no point. There's so much other stuff. They, well, they... it wasn't even just the wallets. It's like the quivers and the bomb bags and like... I to do Remember it. in the past games how you'd have to increase the size of all of that stuff? Yeah, and, and in Breath of the Wild, they turned it into inventory space for yeah. your weapons. Yeah. And that, that, that makes more sense, I think. I had 10 rupees. Oh, sword training! Hey! Seriously just hosted the stream for five years. Thank you, Seriously. Also, thank you for your, your covert follow so nice. the other day. I think it was yesterday. I, I'm not sure when, when you, you found the channel, but <laughs> I saw that come through, and thank you so much. Uh, that's the postman. Maybe the postman's back? Were you streaming, seriously? Or are you just hanging out like a cool person? Followed yesterday. I love Zelda. Yes! Well then, welcome to the Zelda Chrono stream. We're going to be doing Five Zelda for a Tuesday. while. <laughs> yeah. I think if I do his expert course. He has like a super hippie. Oh, I love it. The expert course is practice session. Cut down the 10 logs using the highly difficult techniques. If you score a perfect 30 points, you shall be taught all the secrets. Oh, he might give me a new technique. That'd be cool. I can take this off. You got a good setup, and yes, I was doing an art stream for a while and played some Overwatch. Come on. Nice. Kinds of things. What kind of art were you doing, just out of curiosity? Uh, just the gave the game some filling was fun upgrading quivers and wallets. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's that's. I think without it, you know, you kind of burn through some of that stuff really quick. And it's like when you're making a game that wants you to explore it's like eh, it's good to have substantial rewards even if it means limiting your player sooner yeah. <laughs> ADHD I just got affinity which is how I found you by the way oh I was learning to use affinity I feel like I know I've heard this what is affinity is it I mean I assume that's some program right I give you a follow on Twitter my with my company's account. Yes. <laughs> I'm, now I'm super curious. Well, I'm going to go make dinner. Nice popping in for like yeah. two minutes. Thanks for hanging out. I'll be in the stream lurking. Bye, Jan. <laughs> How did a steam controller get there? <gasps> All right. Anyway, I'll send you a link to Affinity Photo. It's really good. It's basically fifty dollars Photoshop. Ah, okay. I had a feeling it was kind of in that vein. Um, I, I feel like I've seen it before, but it. I usually I see people do Photoshop or GIMP, and GIMP is free photoshop so i i'd probably choose 50 dollars photoshop over that <laughs> have you prepared i i guess oh boy oh no i think i'm better off just going for horizontal slashes really because then i'll have better accuracy because it's a wide sweep unless does he give me more points oh boy Oh, he gives me more points based on the type of attack. Oh, the jump attack is the one to do. Ah. Oh, weird. It, like, deselects. So I might have to... Uh, okay. Your training is insufficient. You must jump more. <laughs> he just wants you to jump for the whole thing. I used Photoshop for a while, but CS6 was the last version I was able to get before they went subscription model. I feel that. It's, I use the subscription model, and it is expensive. It's like, if you get the whole creative cloud, it's like $600 a year. And I'm just like, I can't afford that. It's a lot of money. Although, I guess it's still 
cheaper than like buying the straight up version of more than one of their programs. So eh, I don't know. I'm glad they're still improving GIMP. I use it a lot. Yeah, I, I used GIMP a lot when, when I was between jobs. And, and honestly, it was cumbersome, but it got the job done relatively better than I expected it to. I upped it out because subs suck unless they're Twitch subs. Ay. I I agree, though. I really don't like the subscription model. Give us great, but Kira is great if you need a painting tool. Ooh. I'm definitely curious about that, too. I haven't had a, enough time to really explore a lot of uh, art programs out there. I feel like I, I learned on Photoshop, and I just kind of stuck with it for a long time. I'm like, I want to see what some of the other good ones are out there. Because I do a lot of sprite animations, too. Or at least I try to. Uh... And Photoshop works, but there's there's got to be something that's a little bit more catered to that type of work. I am the ultimate wood chopper. I feel like this is just a trick to get me to pay money and chop his firewood. Hmm, impressive. I must give you something here. Hey, there we go. Two pieces of heart so far. Unbelievable. Cherish it well. Well, all right. <laughs> and by paint, I mean drawing large print-ready images. I gotcha. That makes sense. I did a fresh reinstall of Windows 10, and I can't get my graphics tablet to work anymore. I've tried everything. Eee, that sucks. I wonder if... No, because if you totally reinstall Windows, it should clear or purge your drivers, right? That stinks. Ah, Jimbo! What's up, man? I'm moving to Linux slowly. Ooh, I learned Unix way back in college. Unix was really interesting. I, I tampered with Linux a little bit, too, and I, I liked it a little bit but didn't really know how to use it well enough to like be do anything useful with it but I I, I want to go back to Linux at some point and see what kind of cool stuff I could do not that it's like tremendously different but I, I get the the want with the user interface it's an old Wacom bamboo yeah maybe you just have to find some old drivers on on Wacom's website but yeah, that's that stinks. Bamboo's like the uh, the um, uh, how would you describe it? Like old time but sturdy. Like it's the tried the tried and true. I I used to use bamboo a lot too. Wagon's got a new driver for the Windows 10 update. Oh, okay, so that's good. I need to move to Linux anyway for the uptime. Ah, there you go. I I can see that. <laughs> I like your little pumpkin face. How's it going, Jimbo? What's new and exciting, man? I've been enjoying your spooky playthroughs. Especially Dead Space, but that's because I'm partial to Dead Space and I love it. I also hear you may not be able to use CS6 at all with your tablet. Ooh. I recommend trying Linux Mint. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm going to try to remember that. But yeah, one of these days, that's that'll be the one I start with then. I'm giving Ubuntu a try to start, but thanks for the suggestion. Ubuntu? I've never even heard of that one. Dead Space is <laughs> thumbs up, and I've been good. Ah, yeah. Double whammy of good. <laughs> I'm happy to hear that, though. Wait, what's in here? I don't think I've actually gone in here yet. It's a lottery shop. Oh... And if you are picked, you'll win 50 rupees. It's only for the first person. So is it only for rupees? Where's my notebook? The benefit of time travel is that you always are right. <laughs> well, I guess he's not going to tell me what the numbers are right now. Uh, we'll do two, seven, three. 
tonight from 6 to 11 o'clock. Your lottery ticket is only good through the night. Oh, so maybe if I do it three nights in a row, maybe something good will happen? It might just be like the best items at the last night. Ah, I'm not sure. Never heard of Ubuntu? I'm sorry. Granted, Linux Mint is better. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm I'm sadly behind on some some tech stuff. I got a lot of edumacation to uh, to get. But Dead Space doesn't have cooking with uh, Mazimo. <laughs> I mean, that is also fair. Oh, cool! I I got your link seriously for uh, Affinity. Thank you for for sharing that with me. I'm I'm definitely gonna check that out. I'm I'm curious. Um, okay, so did sword training. I have my powder keg. This is for the difficult mask, and that's also open at ten. So I guess I will just go to Romani Ranch. Might as well. Don't worry, mister, I have a sword! You'd be pleasantly surprised by the emulators on Linux. A hundred times better on Linux than Windows. Ah! Now you're starting to sell me on this. <laughs> Not that I wasn't interested before, too, but... That's good to know. There we go. Get some of those goods. Um, okay. Oh, well, actually, it'll just be faster if I use the Goron. I don't think I need anything else, right? Maybe I'll just... Yeah. I know there's a... A heart piece hidden somewhere in the... Um, overworld. That I, I can watch someone go through a telescope... Or through the telescope to that see them like sneaking around. I think it's the same thief guy that steals the bomb bag. Get out of my way! I apparently went the longest way. Oh wait, no, I was in the right direction. I just totally doofed on where Romani Ranch was. There we go. I guess I'll need Epona anyway. Okay, buddy. I've come here to chew bubblegum and blow things up. Eat them all out of bubblegum. Oh, these are the scaredy bushes. I'm heading out. Have a good one. Lovely game. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out. I hope you have a good rest of your night. Oh, that was weird. Okay. Let's go shoot some aliens again. And this time... This time... Will be even better. Because I'm not going to run out of time. Oh, Epona, what's up? I didn't see you here. What's up, Romani? I'm Linky Binky. Linky Binky? That's a nice name, but how about Grasshopper? That's the name Romani gives you. See, you're wearing green clothes, and you patter about when you walk, so Grasshopper it is. Romani was practicing for tonight. Tonight, they are coming. They are, in fact, coming, and it's going to be spooky. Perfect for uh, October. They, they come at night every year when the carnival approaches. It's so stressful, man. They come riding in a bright, shining ball. A whole lot of them come down. And then they come to the barn.
My older sister won't believe me, but Romani must protect the cows. Hey, Grasshopper, I'm recruiting for an assistant right now. You're a boy. <laughs> won't you try? Sure. Great, that's the spirit, Grasshopper. Okay, then I'm going straight into my strategy. They'll appear all over the ranch. They'll aim for that barn and approach it slowly, so hit them with arrows so they can't get in. You got that? And you mustn't leave with the ranch. Grasshopper, let's practice right away. There are ten ghost-shaped balloons in the ranch, so hurry and burst them all. If you take over two minutes, you're out. The current record is one minute. Are you ready? I am always ready. Freaks me out when they brainwash her or whatever. Oh, it freaks me out too. That that was like... It was already like super freaky to me that there were these mysterious beings that just come out of nowhere and uh, steal the cows. Uh, but when you see what they do to Romani, you're just like, holy shit. This game is messed up and dark in the craziest way. Especially because, like, just things like that didn't happen in the, the first game. I love it now because I, I have a very sick, sick sense of humor and, and entertainment taste. But, uh... <laughs> I feel like I'm not alone. Oh, come on. Come on. Go faster, Epona. We're so close. Let's beat that one minute mark. Yeah, I did it. Okay, you're done. Yeah. Amazing, it's a new record. You two work perfectly together. When the arrow hits these, they burst into nothing, but the real ones keep popping up. If they get into the barn, we lose. They run away at... at first light of the sun so we'll have to keep fending them off until then did you get that the operation starts tonight at 2 I'll be waiting in the barn don't be late oh that's right so weird that I've already done this but it, it gets added to the notebook okay so we're gonna turn time back to its normal speed and then we're gonna fast forward to evening so that I uh I can go shoot some aliens. There we go. Sometimes I it doesn't seem to want to work, and I wonder if maybe I'm like hitting a button and not realizing it. Okay. This time I'm not going to dawdle around and waste uh, or almost miss the opportunity to do this what's your favorite background music in this game if you can remember Ooh, that is a good question I'm always I'm trying to remember they do reuse some of the songs from Ocarina I'm always a huge fan of any of the Gerudo music but I don't remember that being super present in the Gerudo moments. Oh, you know what? I think my favorite is the the background music in uh, the Deku Palace. I I really really love that that whole theme. Mine is the observatory music. I listen to it for hours. Ooh, that one's that one's a good pick. Deku's good. I can play that on piano. Ooh, nice. Fancy. Oh, I should probably leave some of those f shrubs to later be destroyed. Mine is Stone Tower Temple. Yeah, I, that's the one I'm having a hard time remembering. I feel like I like that one a lot, too. Um, but it's, it, I'm, it's not coming to mind. But that's just because I haven't been there yet. I, for whatever weird reason, Stone Tower Temple will always remind me of the Linkin Park album Meteora, though. I, I have very, like, vivid memories of just listening to that entire album on loop as I went through that temple. And it's just like, now I can't separate those two things in my brain. I was going to say Stone Tower and even... More when the temple is inverted. Ooh. Now I'm, now I'm kind of excited to relive that. 
It's I'll probably remember as soon as I hear it. And I'm gonna be like, ah, how could I have forgotten? It's been a been a while since I've done a full playthrough of this game. <laughs> Opens audiobook, smiles, gets comfy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't realize that was was you, Alyssa. What's up, Alyssa? How's it going? <laughs> I got so focused on what was being said, not by who said it. <laughs> Sighs in relief. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the uh, audiobook hour with Affinity Chris in uh, the Triforce Tuesday edition. <laughs> I, it's, it's funny to, I, I never thought of, like, I always thought my voice was pretty annoying, so uh, hearing compliments like that are, if, it's really nice, um, but even at work, I've started to become the, the guy that, that talks to our, our, our clients to, like, have, like, the nice voice of, of calm and, in, in, like, chill tone, and, like, because my boss, he, he just gets really, like, loud and aggressive really quick. And it just, it puts everyone off pretty quick. And that's okay. In some cases, that's actually really, really useful. Um, but they started throwing me into those calls more often to be like, you do the talking, Chris. Everyone will be, uh, you know, way less stressed <laughs> if you're the one doing that. <laughs> no, not annoying at all. Exactly, it's perfect for calming people. So welcoming. Yes! <laughs> I appreciate that. This time I'm not going to fall prey to the... I think I started too far off to the, the west side of the map last time. And the, the aliens that spawn over here, they get to the barn so quick, I almost lost it. Like, it was a split second more and I just would have not have succeeded that would have stunk of course I got to do this again just to go down the uh, the milk road probably just have more patience too yeah that was kind of my thinking is I don't get angry very easily and um, you know a lot of times publishers will ask you things that seem that don't seem reasonable and that's just because you know if you're neck deep in a project you know all the ins and outs and they they may not so they sometimes will say things that they don't realize uh sounds crazy to to some of the other people on the team so like i get it uh so people get up in arms really quick sometimes but it's not usually a good tone to uh adopt when you're not totally sure if if you know they they meant it that way or not so yeah i i try to be patient <laughs> that's that's one of the few things that i i can be good at I'm avoiding publishers for as long as possible eh, it's probably a good thing i've had good experiences with publishers too um one of the ones that we're working with is is exceptional like they've been more than reasonable and i've been the one falling behind on stuff and and he's He's nice about it. It's like, wow, I didn't expect you to be so reasonable. Um, and, and you know, even uh, with our other publishers, like, there are some people that are super awesome and then some that tend to be a little bit more of a pain in the butt. And it's a balance sometimes. Sometimes you need them to be a pain in the butt. Sometimes you need them to other people to, like, help balance it out. It's, it's all just a weird balancing act. Um, but I do kind of miss working on more independent games where we have just total creative control <laughs> for that reason. Yeah. All right, here we go. Wow, so the guy in the back is actually still pretty close. Oh, that's right. They do drop arrows, too. Yes. Get out of here, alien scum! Oh boy. 
My aim is not not stellar right now. Get out of your dog! Oh wait, the dog is actually really useful. He barks when the ghoulies get close. Yeah, the, I think these were the guys that really snuck up on me last time. Because they all sort of come over that hill. Gotcha. I should get some of these arrows. There we go. Okay, I think this guy in the back is... Yep, there he is. Thanks, pup. Doggo, saving the day every day. Because that's what the doggo do. Well, it's a lot less stressful this time around, I think. I think I'm just better at kind of paying attention to where they're all coming from. First time around, though, it's like, you know, you don't have a total sense of strategy, so it's really easy to just panic and, and get distracted. I think we're good. I think... I think they're not going to make it at this point. The sun is on the horizon. Who's getting close? You? Get out of here. Get out of here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alright, these guys are getting a little too close for comfort. Yeah, I did it! <laughs> go Ripley, go. 13 out of 10, very good doggo. <laughs> yeah, the best doggo. He is the goodest boy. We did it, we won. Thank you, thanks to you, the cows are giving thanks to you. It's almost time for my sister to get up, so I have to get back to bed. See you later, little hero. You cutie. Okay, so now... Now I need to ride into town. Um, I'm trying to remember if that was a day three thing, or maybe that's a day two thing. Because last time, I don't think it happened until day three, but maybe, maybe the aliens don't strike depending on when you show up, because I might have gone to Romani, Romani Ranch Day two, when I saved them from the alien invasion. So let's let's talk to the sister and see where she's at and if she's preparing. She'll probably give me a, a day and a time. Oh my, hello. Romani's going to take our milk to Clocktown too. You're looking after the place. The cows would be all alone otherwise. Yes, sister. I'm going by wagon into town. Would you like a ride? I'll be leaving about 6 o'clock this evening, so you can join me if you like. Crema, the ranch owner, was added to your notebook. Okay, 6 o'clock in the evening. Easy peasy. As long as... 6 o'clock... I'm pretty sure 6 o'clock starts... Is, is like smack dab at the beginning of evening, so if I... Fast forward time. Then it should be right here, right? Let's give it a try. Night of the second day. Come on, please, please, please don't leave. Oh, thank God. Oh, good evening. I'm going to town to deliver milk. Would you like a ride? Yeah, just a totally chill, totally normal, safe ride. That's great. Tonight I'm kind of lonely. I welcome the company. Oh, that's kind of sad. Ugly country. <laughs> we are about to go into some ugly country. <laughs> Bye, Epona. I guess it's been a while since our father died. I'm trying to take care of the ranch, but things have been getting unstable lately. The cows always seem bothered and frazzled, and I'm finding broken bottles everywhere. Who's doing it? I don't know. My sister Romani has been worried too. She's 
practicing using the bow. She says it's to kill the aliens. Say, what are you, the townsfolk saying about the moon? It's bigger than before, isn't it? You talk really fast, Krima. In town, I have a friend. Her name is Anju. Anju, the day after tomorrow is her wedding. Ah. So this is where you sort of learn a little bit about Anju. Anju is the hard mask to get. I wonder if it will... Jeez. Ah, I wonder if it will fall from the sky. Is that what she said? Hey, guy that's just standing there with a pickaxe. You sh want to tell us why this is <laughs> gated off? What? The road? Boy, get your bow ready. Yeah, she knows what's up. <laughs> Welcome to my my live stream of Red Dead Redemption 2. First milk road is blocked by a boulder and now we have to take this detour through ugly country. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready, boy? I'm going to try to get us through here as fast as I can. If any pursuers come from behind, chase them off with your arrows. They may be after the car my cargo of milk bottles. Do you understand? No, no, I just wanted to ride. I'm just a little, little boy. Thanks, I'm relying on you. If we can get through here, I'll have a big thanks for you. You mean like another empty bottle? Wow. They did not hesitate to, uh... To start attacking. Boy, by their war cries, I wonder who they could be. At least they were kind enough to give me unlimited arrows here. Oh, oh, there we go. Bow practice has paid off. Yeah. Although I guess the aliens... I, I like that both of these challenges involve the bow. Because um, it like it kind of helps reinforce the whole point of er, both of the challenges, right? Is like they use the same type of skill, just in different ways. And like, they both feel really different too. But if you could do one, you could probably do both. That consistency is nice. The very player... I think it's player friendly. Maybe, maybe not everyone feels that way, but I think it's good. I just wish I could shoot them off their donkeys. Why is everyone riding donkeys here? I must feel bad for the donkeys. Or maybe their mules. Whoa! That uh. Whoa! No! 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 You stop that! You stop that! Oh god! Did I fail? Did I do it? I think I did it. That was weird in the end there. <laughs> Big thanks. <laughs> it's a Christian stream, Krima. <laughs> I hope they didn't break those bottles. Mr. Barton was happy to get his first delivery in quite a while. Thank you. You were pretty cool. This isn't very big, but accept my thanks. Yeah! You got Romani's mask. Wear it with C to show you're a member of the exclusive milk bar latte. By doing one good deed, a child becomes an adult. That mask is only given to a limited number of adult customers. It's proof of membership. I now acknowledge you as being an adult. Thank you, Krima. I couldn't have become an adult without you. Now, we can go to the elusive, exclusive milk bar. I forgot that that was actually what she gave you. I knew it was some, some means of getting into the milk bar, but latte. The members only milk bar open from 10 p.m. Okay, so it's almost 10 p.m. I wonder where this guy's going. Mother, mother, I'm busy. Well, fine. Be that way, I guess. 
don't remember if I got all the heart pieces from these mini games. I think I did from this one, but maybe I also ran out of money. Pretty sure I still have to do Town Shooting Gallery. I might have done that one. I definitely didn't do the Bomb Chew one yet. That one's weird. Or maybe that's like throwing bombs in baskets. That might be what it is. Ah, you are a member. Please come in. Uh oh, a milk bar. <laughs> oh yeah. Do I have to keep this mask on the whole time? We were scheduled to do a show, but it got cancelled. The place has a reputation for being a great live venue, so it's a shame. I'd like to do a sound check, though. I just want to see what it would have been like. Hey, you. Could you help me with a performance? I could. Okay, you play the ocarina, right? Go stand under the center spotlight. Okay, play your ocarina like this. to go to bed early tonight but I hope everyone has a nice night thank you Dylan I hope you have a nice night as well thank you for hanging out I, I, I hope you had a good time I really like this moment I think it's really cool okay that feels good what feels good that wretched senseless record Toto the band manager was added to your notebook seems like other fellows got bigger problems, though. Here we go. And now... We can keep the train going. Okay, you play the pipes, right? Go stand under the front left spotlight. Stage left. Okay, now play your pipes like this. Yeah. I really like this. Okay, that feels good. <laughs> wow. Gonna keep being like that, huh? <laughs> I am both half Deku, half Goron. Blah, what am I? Rear left spotlight. Of course. Drums always go in the back. I see how it is. <laughs> Both sinks and floats are the same time. Problem physics. What? Oh, both sinks. <laughs> yeah. uh, drums in the back and the bass player is hidden in the corner <laughs> exactly as it should be <laughs> alright here we go one last one tell me where to go boss there we go so cool. Bravo, that was the best! The, that melody. That melody, it brings back so many memories. It's their old standby, Ballad of the Windfish. Yeah! Callback! That's the song that members of the previous generation of the Ingo Goes made famous. I entered show business because I heard this song at the Carnival of Time long ago. By doing performances, I thought maybe I'd get to meet the singers of that song. The one you heard singing must have been the original Lulu, mother of the current lead singer who's also named Lulu. 
So her daughter is singing now. Is that so? I'd like to hear that. I'm sorry I booed you. Please take my mask. Of my face! <laughs> you get the circus leader's mask. This mask looks so sad it could put a tear in even a demon's eye. I don't know if this actually does anything, to be honest. Well, did they just reference a Game Boy game? They did. They totally did. That's why I got so excited, because I think that's fantastic. I am... <laughs> oh, look at him. He's crying. Aww. Sir, it's the rules. Please wear your Romani's mask inside the bar. All right, fine. Why am I the only one that has to wear this? <laughs> Have a drink. What'll it be? Ah, chateau. I don't have enough for that. What if I just talk to you? We've got some good milk in tonight. Would you like some Romani for your final moon viewing? <laughs> oh, it's so funny. It really makes you, like, curious what their fancy milk tastes like. I hate milk, but the game kind of, like, uh, makes me want to drink it. <laughs> oh, I should slow down time again. There we go. Okay, so that was that mask. It's probably too late to go talk to the postman. Uh, I don't remember if this even does anything in the mayor's office. I guess I could go to some of those mini games in town. I'll, I'll see if any of those are open. Because I've got 53 rupees. I could probably, probably give a couple of games a whirl. Alright, so that's closed. Shooting gallery is closed. And... That's closed. Okay, so they're all open 6 2 10. Oh, I do have the pig! Oh, I'm still wearing this stupid mask. There we go. Okay, I actually can do something with this. Oh, I bet you this is closed too, though. Yep, that's okay. I have alternate methods of break and entry. Oh. I think... I think I need paper. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go get... I'm gonna go get the moon tier. I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter what the paper is. Nine, nine, 90%, oops, 90% sure anyway. Uh, uh, so many Metroid maps. I know I've got, there we go, five, two, four, three, one. Yeah. I've been a bomber since, uh, well, he's been a bomber longer than me. I can't talk shit. And just so I can get across this nice and quick. Whoa. I swear. Last time I streamed this, last week when I streamed this, I swear everything was so much darker than it is right now. I remember being in here being like, why is it so hard to see? Maybe I just forgot to set it to progressive mode or something. 
Hmm. I, I do like this music quite a bit. It's so nice. Well, you're a child I've never seen before. Yes, gaze into my telescope. Why, I will. And I will look at this doofy skull kid just dancing on top of the clock. Why does the moon wait to cry until I look at skull kid? Is the moon like, I don't want to die? <laughs> you little doofus. I feel like there was... Oh, oh, oh. Hey there. Whatcha... Whatcha doing? Mr. Moneybags, you want to take me to your secret hiding spot? Where are you going? Are you just... Just... Just flying in circles? Oh, no! I think he just went in a loop, didn't he? Oh no, maybe he's trying to trying to lose me. As he just like swoops down and take the takes the moon tier. Like son of a gun. Aha. Okay, so it's it's really just right outside of here. But I think yeah, that's how we know that there's a little secret spot. And then he's sitting there dancing. I think there was one other thing that you could see in this telescope. I could be wrong. I might be crazy. But first things first. Let's get that, that beautiful moon tier. I assume I can't just like jump out of here, can I? Oh, but I can Deku fly my way back in? That's all right. Whoa, he's got a a couch that matches the space. Now that's some some intense interior decorating. Funny thing is, if I go back into town and then go find that that shopkeeper, he'll still be in his little Deku flower. Oh no! Good job, Chris. Oh, 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 oh! I just I was not prepared for this. Oh wait, hold on a sec here. Is this is this deep water? What if I use my Zora? Will I be able to catch these fish? I might be able to. Come on. Come on. Give me that fish. Ah. Uh, yeah. No cigar. I wonder if there's anything over here. All right. Ow. Whoops. Ow. There we go. It's only a game. Why moon have to be said? <laughs> I appreciate you. Why said? Why or why? Why moon? Why? Oh good, I do have some bombs. I was like, no. Why now of all times? Hey. All right, I totally forgot this was even a thing. Hey. Okay, so there's two pretty easy to get silver rupee spots. So that's good to remember. 
Well, I'll have to continue my search for the fish later, I guess. I gotta figure out where I get the rest of those bottles. How many do I have? I do have four. So there's still two more. One of them, I'm pretty sure I get from Dampe in a graveyard somewhere. Probably in Ikana Canyon. Probably. I think that's right anyway. I don't know where else they would hide that the guy or Dampe. Because he's always by, by the dead people. <laughs> Will he talk to Link about this? I don't remember. Well, hi there, friendo. Are you looking for one of these fancy, fancy things? Yes, give me that paper. That will surely be used for something very, very important and uh, well-purposed. <laughs> Have a nice trip, bye! All right, now that he's gone, I have a mission to do. <laughs> uh, this mask is so funny. Oh, except I'm going to have to go Deku again. It'll be worth it, though. Oh, I guess I could go in the, um, the, like, variety shop and see if there's, uh... I know that most of what I need that in that variety shop, the one that only opens late at night, I know most of what I need is... is relates to the complicated mask to get but there might be something I could just buy so you won't be able to see him I th I think you won't be able to see him without this maybe you will I don't know there you go buddy you have a nice paper yeah oh you saved me This fell down here. I give this to you. I don't know if I want it. <laughs> Ooh, well, that person was added to your notebook. You helped mm, out in a jam. This was added to your notebook. All right. Well, enjoy your paper. Is that fish back? I'm just gonna keep farming this place for fish. Just keep coming in here for more. It's a deviant for sure. <laughs> I think, uh, I, I can't remember, but I think there's some way to figure out who he is. I can't remember though. I thought it was supposed to be the, um, the circus ringleader. Um, but we just saw him in, in the milk bar. So I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Well, you know, sometimes you gotta sneak in people's rooms. <laughs> Did you meet to the Rosa sisters, our fellow performers from the troupe? They're twins, too. They're twins just like us. Can you believe it? I think they're practicing somewhere in West Clarktown right now. There are two sets of twins traveling in Gorham's troupe of entertainers. I mean, what are the chances? I'd say the chances are about one in a million. No way to make that far in a million. Oh, 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 oh. oh you're horrible. <laughs> but I think the hint is that, yeah, it's, it's that, it's the same smell. The power of this mask allows you to see what you can smell. If it's possible to put the scent in something and take it to the Hag's Magic Potion Shop. What? Is that really a thing? I don't... I don't think that's a thing. If it's possible, put the scent in something and take it. Huh. Oh!
All right. All right. Well, we'll roll with this. Maybe I'll just jump straight over to the magic, the the hag's magic shop then. Well, while I'm there, I could do the um, the uh, uh, the boat ride, and actually get a proper picture of the Octorok. I think I didn't do that yet. That gross. It is pretty gross, right? I didn't. I don't know if I knew that that was a thing. Woodfall, Southern Swamp. Woodfall's the temple, right? So I think I want to go to Southern Swamp. <laughs> now I'm just curious what that mushroom will give me. Well, first we're gonna go lily pad hopping. Man, it's been a hot second since I've been over here. Okay. I don't think there was anything else in the the Lost Woods that I needed to get. <clears throat> oh, actually, I probably could use some Deku nuts and Deku sticks from these guys. I feel like I I always forget to get them whenever I restart time. Whoa. What? Where are you going? Did I just take too long and now you're going to go look for your sister? I bet you that's what's happening. Unless that was her sister leaving. Oh, nope, that was just her. <laughs> Get back to the woods on a little errand. Oh, that just boots me out. All right, well, now this is starting to take more time than I hoped it would. But we'll hunt them down. Might as well. I just hope they, they're not gonna pull the like, oh, you gotta, gotta bring a potion. Aha! Aha! Won't trick me this time, monkey! Oh? <laughs> you need me for something? Have you seen an old hag named Komei who looks just like me? She hasn't come back from gathering medicinal herbs. Komei's this way. Oh, now I lost her entirely. I think it's this way. Hey, I figured it out. Oh, ow, ow, help me. I was just busy minding my own business, picking mushrooms when BAM! I got hit from behind. Pesky skull kid thinks he can do a whole heck and wouldn't recognize his face. <laughs> do I? Nope. Sorry. I wish this you're no help. Say you're not out what you make yourself to be. Well, you know, we can't all be heroes, all right? Uh, hey, wow, I found the way back. I'm trying to talk to her. <laughs> Did you need me for something? What's that? The skull kid got to kill me? That's ridiculous. If it isn't the Skullkin, then what harm could he possibly do? Oh, well, if that's true, take this potion to her. Oh. Well, that's convenient. Bye. Well, actually, I guess I needed to do this. Oh, I got turned around. Oh well. Yeah, I gotta do this anyway, cause I gotta get through this in order to um to do the the boat cruise. Duh. Yeah, 
Your spikes mean nothing to me. I missed him. Whoops. I always think he spins around on purpose because it's fun. <laughs> or she spins around. I, I, I would agree with that. Like a child's first office chair, which is first broom ride. I like that idea. <laughs> I really should get that bunny hood. That'll just make everything go speedier. Not getting away from me this time, monkey. Oh. For some reason, I, I didn't think it was going to be too... Too, uh... To the left. But goes to show me how crazy I am. There you go. There you go, Komei. Swap to a guy that run the boat cruises, so come by if you want a free ride. I certainly will. Yeah, let's get out of this place. Oh. No, I've I've already I've already saved your people. You don't you don't gotta worry. He'll be tortured in this timeline, but it'll it'll be it'll be fine. Oh, there's no fish over here. Let's see how it is. Okay. Now to just go deliver this mushroom. It might just be like an energy potion, but I just want to know. Because it could be anything. My potions work very well, they do. Kami told me all about it. Hmm, so did you take the boat cruise yet? <laughs> Lol, I spit out the ginger ale on that line. He'll be tortured on the <laughs> this timeline. <laughs> I mean, it's true. <laughs> mm, what a scent. Oh, you did a great job finding this one. You just haven't been able to get my hands on any of them, and that put me in a real pinch. Well, I can use this to make something, so come back later. What? What are you going to make? I don't know if I know what this is. <laughs> wow. So that's... This is almost like a callback to uh, A Link to the Past. That's kind of cool, though. I genuinely don't know what that is. It might just be like a super potion. Maybe. Give us some of your sticks. Ow. Ah, uh, well. I got your nuts instead. Okay, so. Back to the boat cruise. Oh, and while I'm here... I could probably just do the spider house. Because I don't think it'll take too long. I probably have enough time. I'm not too worried about it. Okay. Just get this handy. What's up, Kotake or Kaume? Oh, thanks for what you did back there. And a special deal just for you. I'll let you take this cruise for free. If you take a nice picture from the boat, take it to that fella over there. All right, the boat's leaving. Wow, you're not even going to ask me if I want to use it. Nah, I don't really need that. Can I... Whack anyone, though? I don't want to shoot him with an arrow. 
Yeah, they're just gonna gray out everything. All right. I'll just have to be clever about how to get the picture at the right time for those Octorox. Because they, they'll not give me full points if he's in the water still. But he'll pop out. Or not. Maybe the second one pops out? Because they're going to ask me if I want to keep going or not. So maybe it's it's this guy over there that's the uh, the the ultimate Octorok. I could also just be wrong. Now arriving at the Deku place, the swamp water is poisonous here, so please watch your step. I am not disembarking. Take me forward! <laughs> oh, hey there! I mean, I guess I could just snap a photo of him in the water just as a fail-safe. Yeah, we'll keep that. Oh, I don't know. Will he even pop out? He didn't pop out. All right, so maybe I'm, I could just be crazy, in all honesty. Let's see if this picture does the trick. Because I thought I did this before, and he just gave me some rupees. But maybe he doesn't give you a heart piece? But I'm pretty sure if you don't, if you take a picture outside of the cruise ship, then he doesn't count, consider it as good enough. Hey, welcome back if you're ever in the world, come again. <laughs> oh yeah, this is Tingle's dad. Oh, that's a big octo. I'm pretty sure the others have been taken. Others have taken pictographs of those before, but if you get too close to one of those things, it'll suck you in, so it's pretty hard to take a decent shot. Hmm. Yeah, so how do I get him to, to pop out sooner? I mean, they're all dead now, so it's not like I, I'll, I'll get another shot, but... Yeah, maybe I just have to go on foot. Last time I did that, though... They did just suck me up and, like, shoot me away. There's got to be a good a, a trick to that. Okay. So that's that. Um, I guess I could just go hang out with Kotake and uh, fast forward time if that potion's not ready yet. Whoops. Dawn of the final day. Or I could just go to the spider house. I just don't want to forget. I feel like this probably is fine. Whoa, the rumblies. Or I guess I could just restart time. It's also not a bad option. What's up? Come on. I just want to just want to talk to you. There we go. Hooray! <laughs> if I think I'm smelling some light fragrance of mushrooms, do you have any? If you have any mushroom, I'll buy it. Oh, was it just for one of these potions? I just brewed up this cure-all. It goes down easy and gets right to work. Okay, so that's what it was. She just didn't have the blue potion available until I brought her that mushroom. Uh, all right. I mean, that's that, that, that's kind of fun in its own way.
Oh. Alright. So now... The guide gives you a piece of heart if you present him a photo of the Deku King or Tingle, not the Octorok. Oh. I, yeah, I guess I didn't consider um, sending him a photo of Tingle. But it is his son, so that's, that's kind of cute, actually. Maybe I'll do that. I don't remember where Tingle is over here, but... The Deku King's not far either. Oh, no. Ah, thank you for the hint, though. Yeah, maybe, maybe I just thought that was a thing when I was a kid, but... Yeah, I might just be remembering things poorly. At some point, I'm going to have to run around, kill, I think, all the bosses again to uh, do the thing with these frogs. Did I go too far? Oh, no. I don't think so. This is the first... This is the first Doctor Act. Or Big Octo. There we go. Uh, I could just swoop in there and take a picture of uh, the uh, Deku King. Since I'm already here. Well, hey there, friend monkey. I remember as a kid taking a photo of all the lovely plants to show him. He was never impressed. Oh, Yeah, I, I feel like I did a lot of that too where I was like, look how beautiful all these things are. But it's just like, the game has no concept of that. But as a kid, you just want to believe. Can I even take a photo? Oh, I can. Hey, look at that. Whoop, that's not a very good shot. I'm so angry! Oh. That might be a little too close, though. Uh, maybe I just take a photo from back here. That's eh, probably better. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, let's rock with that photo. Now to go kill some Skulchulas. I just found it interesting that you kind of have to have that momentum when jumping from lily pad to lily pad. Whoops. There we go. Uh, I'll just throw bombs on there because I feel like I'll probably need them. Alright, does it tell me how many I have? <laughs> Fearful spider house, dead ahead. Actually, literally, this is it. <laughs> oh, you'll tell me. Oh, he has the mask of truth. Oh, help me, I'm not a monster. The spider's curse had made it this way. I beg of you in here, find them all. The gold ones, the cursed spiders. Defeat them quickly. And when you defeat them, don't forget the spider token. It contains the spider spirit. If you list, lift the curse, I'll teach you something good. Hurry, please. This is awful. But did you say how many there are? Maybe he'll tell me if I talk to him again. In here, the gold one's the curse one's the Oh, he won't tell me. Oh, jeez. Scoob! <laughs> we gotta get some Scooby Snacks. Scoob! Oh, I'm not as good at my shaggy voice today. Sometimes, sometimes I feel like it's pretty accurate, but... <laughs> 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 
Oh, I'm gonna have to get bugs. All right. Oh, oh, oh! You think you could just crawl around on the floor like that? Oh wow, I have a full wallet. There are 30 spiders and you'll need bugs and maybe beans. Oh, I might need beans. I think you're right. Okay. No, no, you're totally right. I do need beans. So I might want to just come back here later. Because I got to go get those and then, yeah. Well, let's see then. Is there anything else that I should do before I reset time again? Oh, well, I should... Should probably go show off my fancy new photograph. Oh, of course there's no lily pads over here. Alright, well. There's another easy way to get back over there. Oh, definitely the bank. Yeah. Okay. Time to get me a good old piece of heart. Come on, there you go. Yeah, maybe Tingle's further back than I thought. Oh, you know what? I bet he is. Whoops. <laughs> well then, why don't you show me your pictograph? Oh, 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 the king! You're amazing! If you're not a Deku Scrub, you're not allowed to enter the Deku Palace, but somehow you took this picture. This is a great shot. This is as rare as they come. I'm giving you a big prize. Hey! Nice. I'm looking forward to your next picture. Ah, uh, there probably won't be any. Oh, I forgot to go back and do the, um, the lottery. Whoops. Oh, well. All right. Clock town. Deposit that cash. And I guess I'll try for that the tough mask again. I don't remember how I got to deal with the mailman. I think I just got to grab him after he makes his first round. What's up there, friendo? All right, so. Bam. I am really depositing that much. Here, one rich little guy. Ooh, we're getting close to the thousand mark. Cool. I would like to save and return to dawn of the first day. Whew. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I love it when work emails continue to come through at like 10 o'clock. <laughs> okay. Slow down that time. Oops. There we go. So we'll catch the guy dropping off the letter first. And then I'll cheat my way into getting a room. Oh, unless maybe it's not the Goron mask. Maybe it's uh something else. Hmm. There you are. What's up, little kid? I've come to take your photograph. 
Hey, apprentice, don't just stand around looking at the sky all day. <laughs> I mean, we all all die in about three days, so... Why does it matter? Oh, I think they're... Slowly gets better and better items or maybe on the last day on top of this little tower that they're building I think it uh, it has something valuable. Did you just push me? He's pushing me Maybe someone else is pushing me Come on come on you're really taking your sweet time. What? Why? There we go. Oh, I I think I do have it backward. I think uh, I gotta wait for the mailman to deliver the letter. Ah, uh, so maybe I do de need a different mask in order to uh, get there. Maybe I will use sad guy mask. I could be crazy. I know there's a way to get a room key. And I know I'll need it for this mask. Oh, uh, maybe... I could be mixing up things, too. Maybe it is the Goron thing. Ah, we'll give it a shot either way. I got plenty of time. Okay. We'll start with Goron. Welcome to the Stark Pot Inn. Uh, are you staying the night? I am. Eh? You are staying the night? I'm terribly sorry. There are no vacancies today. We've booked solid with reservations. It's always this way before the carnival. Sorry, I r recommend making a reservation the next time you wish to stay here. Please pay the Stock Pot Inn a visit in the future. Hmm. Oh, do I have to read her book? Maybe that's how I find this out. Let's look. Oh. Oh, I can't read her book. Yeah, I mean, there's the troop leader there. So I feel like he's already checked in. Hmm. Oh, I'm so sad. Hmm, yeah. I might just not have the right right pieces yet at this point, too. Oh, I forgot to bring the fish to uh, the lab, but I don't think I had enough fish anyway. I feel like it's at least got to be four. Maybe more. All right, let's go get some rupees and go buy some magic beans. Oh, you know what? Oops. There were some bugs in there too. I think there's plenty of bugs crawling around over at the, um, the Skulltula dungeon, but I might as well while I'm here. The hand in the toilet is a reference to an old Japanese scary story. Ooh. I've never seen this story, but now I'm extra intrigued. But that sounds fantastic. I love I love stuff like that. I guess I could follow the mailman too and then talk to her once uh the mailman delivers her the bad news. So that might give me insight as to when and how I can snatch a room. You can catch bugs in the spider house by lifting rocks. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I had a feeling that'd be the case. I just didn't remember is the mailman anyway he's probably running around
it's mail time. Unless... I could try going in there if he hasn't left yet. Nine AM to three PM, okay, so he could just resume normal time. I'll buy it. All right, eleven o'clock tonight. I'm gonna remember this time. I'm pretty sure I I do. I think I need to win all three nights in a row. Maybe it really is just less than, ah, I don't know anything. I guess I could also hang out near the inn because I'll I'll be able to see when he gets over there one way or another maybe he he jumps out of the the post office right at nine o'clock oh right I forgot I could deposit mail well, that'll come into play later times this open oh it's already open Okay, so now we play the waiting game, but <laughs> might, as, might as well grab another fish. Hi there, friendo. Delicious. I also work here now. I wonder, does anything happen if I talk to the circus leader with his mask? Ah. Bother, I'm busy. I guess not. Well then, I see how it is. Oh. Wait, where are you off to? Is he going to bar to the bar this early? Oh, he is. Wow, buddy. Did I? I did resolve the thing with him, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, Andrew has a lot going on. Oh, but it tells me the time slots that I I have to be aware of. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay, well that that makes this a lot easier. Oh, I see. So some icons just represent that they gave me a gift, and then some represent masks. I guess. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, I'm, I don't totally know what some of these different icons represent, but either way, they're marked as done, so I'm good. Oh yeah, he doesn't start for a little while, so that must be 3 o'clock. Okay, cool. This is this is actually way more useful than I, I realized. So then she her time slot must also open up around three o'clock. So I bet I do need to wait for the, the mailman to finish. What's going on in here though? Uh, still not open. That's ah, almost open. I can hang out. Oh, he's going to the mayor's office. Oh, gonna stir some shit. Better get my sad mask ready. Man, how timely. Whoa. Welcome. Do you have some business? The room on the left is the mayor's room. 
Sounds like they're having some kind of meeting, I think. The room on your right is the drawing room, and it's also Madame Aroma's office. Sweet. <laughs> I really like this. Most of the townsfolk already have taken shelter without waiting for the mayor's orders. The only ones left are public servants and committee members. Mr. Mayor and Carnival Committee members, please order those who remain to evacuate. Uh -huh. You cowards! You actually believe the moon is gonna fall? The confused townsfolk simply caused panic by believing this ridiculous groundless theory. The soldiers couldn't prevent the panic, but outside the town walls is where the danger is. You want answers? The answer is that the carnival should not be cancelled. Isn't that right, Mr. Mayor? <laughs> Are you serious, Mada? It seems that giant chunk of rock above us hasn't caught your eye. At this time every year, we are overrun by tourists. So why is the town empty? Clearly, it's your job to ensure the carnival's operation, but that's if the people are here for it. Don't drag the merchants and soldiers into this. Hmm. If the soldiers wish to run, then run, Viscan. We can... Councilmen will stick to tradition. This carnival will be a success. I've never heard of a defense unit abandoning its town. Madame Aroma would surely say the same thing, wouldn't she, Dr. Ditor? Or Mayor Ditor? I don't know. I'm misreading all over the place. Let's not bring my wife into this. <laughs> oh, I actually can help him? So wait. Let's look at this. I don't know what I would do to help, but... I could sing a little song. Don't you worry none. Yeah, it's not gonna do anything. Hmm. Oh yeah, what's he saying? I am the... of the Gorman Troop. I have an appointment to meet with Madame today. Oh really? Then that should be fine if you just go in. Well, don't mind if I do. Oh dear, you're on a field trip. Or are you an expert in person finder I hired? Yes, yes, yes. I say you have the face of a pro. The characteristics of the person I want to find. Yes, yes, I know them. The person I want you to locate is my son, Cafe. You know him, don't you? You don't really? He disappeared about a month ago. It's terrible. I'm so worried I can't get food down my throat and I've lost five pounds. You haven't anything, though. Oh dear. Well, could you look for him? Oh my, of course. You're an expert. I'm counting on you. Ah! I forgot about this. Where to inquire about the missing cafe? Madame Aroma, the mayor's wife, is added to your notebook. <laughs> you took the work of a pro. This was added to your notebook. Okay, so now I can have that conversation with, um... The lady in the inn. Are the, f are the fins damp lately? That's the greeting used among us Zoras. Oh, forgive me. I'm Toto, the manager of the band, the in Indigo Goes. Also, I love that his name is Toto. I'm out of business cards, so as our greeting will have to do. The Indigo Goes is the popular group that we Zora are so proud of. They put a lot of songs, work into their songs. One of their hits is the Ballad of the Windfish. You know that song, don't you? Huh? You don't? Really? Even that one? Even one that famous? Hmm. Be able to hear it if the show wasn't cancelled. It's such a shame. Ah, uh, you know, shit happens sometimes. What's this room all about? Oh, behind the curtain, Cafe's Diary. The wedding ceremony is soon. It might be early, but I finished my wedding mask. I wonder if Andrew has made hers. She tends to do things at the last minute, so probably not. There's a gathering of the fellows at the milk bar tonight. I plan to show off my wedding mask and talk about my sweetheart as best I can. Is it only a one entry kind of deal? Yeah, it is. Okay, so that's, that's kind of how you get some of the hint of uh, who you need to talk to. Cool, yeah, I dig that. 
Madame Roma, I'm Gorman. It has been some time. Thank you for letting us perform at this year's Carnival of Time. Oh dear me, Gorman. There's a problem. Meaning? The opening performance I've asked you to do. Ah, yes. They've cancelled just now. What's this? Allow me to explain. Oh, excuse me. I am to work at this year's show, or that was the plan. I am Toto, manager of the Zora's band, the Indigo Goes. He arrived this morning. Actually, there's been an unusual, unusual accident in Great Bay. And due to this unusual accident, Lulu, the diva in the Indigo Goes, has lost her voice. Why? Why? The details are quite long, so I'll spare you. At any rate, I must cancel our performance at this year's Carnival of Time. See? Then this means the Gorman troops... Jo job is it's off but, but that's that's all Gorman there's always next year I'm busy with other matters oh I kind of feel bad for him I feel you buddy you deserve better than that no wonder why he's so grumpy he brought his whole troop out and they just kind of bailed on him last minute You'd think that they could just replace them, the the Indigo goes with a different group, but... No wonder he turns into Angry Milk Drinker. Right? Exactly! Oh, wait, she's gone. Is this my chance? To read? Oh... I am investigator. All right, well, maybe I just gotta follow her? Where'd she go? I think she went up here, right? Maybe she took the food to the old lady? Aha, she did. Oh, she looks sad. Aw, I feel so bad for her. Oh, maybe I was supposed to... Maybe I was supposed to do something before she brought the food out? I don't know. I just want to go in there! Ah, you're killing me. Hmm. <laughs> is that her? I just want to talk to her. Oh, there she is. Oh, she's still moving around. Oh, she's probably going back to the desk. I've just been waiting patiently. Oh, that mask. You too, you're also looking for a cafe. Y yeah. Okay, so maybe she does have to. Aha! Aha! The time is now. That was rather convenient timing. Uh, um, uh, um, what is this? Yeah. I have delivered this to you! Ah, oh, wait. This letter. Where did you... Yeah. From the postbox! That's not what I mean. From the postbox where? Yeah. From the postbox somewhere! Yeah. That's not what I mean. Please tell me. Yeah. It's a secret. Yeah. I must know. <laughs> oh, she's trying so hard to find her... her fiancé. You're also looking for Cafe? I have a request, Cafe. I have a clue that will help you find him. Tonight at 11.30, please come out to our kitchen. We'll talk then. Okay, okay. <laughs> so I'm going to slow down time, uh, and I'm going to start working on some of the other stuff while I just wait for time to tick.
You can make the reservation now, I think. Oh. Yeah, let's find out. Please enjoy the carnival of time. Well, maybe I'll just leave and come back. Yeah, I might just need I might just need to reset the state. It could be something weird. Uh, I'm glad I'm not crazy though. I I could have sworn this. Oh, excuse me. I never remembered. Yeah, it's it's really tricky. Welcome to the Stockpot Inn. Um, are you staying the night? Oh my, I wonder, did I buy... Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'll figure it out eventually. Maybe I need to do something to slow down the Goron? Because I thought you would see him check into the, the inn. Uh, but I haven't seen him walk over here yet. But maybe I'm just thinking of the 3DS version. Maybe they changed something. Yeah, it's, it's tricky, though. Yeah, all right. Okay, well, I'll go do... Um, I'm going to go get some magic beans. And then we're going to go to the uh, Skulltula house. I'm trying to remember where the easiest places to get beans were. Actually, was there... Maybe there was a place in town I could buy them? I don't think so, but you never know. Oh, I never went in that hole in the ground by uh, by the observatory. I guess I could also hang out with the mailman. Maybe I should do that first. Is this the one? Yeah, this is the variety shop. Oh, he has fish in here. Yeah, okay. I'll just dump this these bugs out. Is he selling a bottle? Or is that just like a bottle hanging out? Well, now I might have enough fish. Yeah, I guess I'll talk to him. Hi. What are you looking for? Oh, it won't let me pan over there. We don't have much, but what we do is the best. No, really, just take a look. I think I'm good. Maybe try to talk to the kid with the fox mask. I don't remember that part well. It's so tricky. Yeah, it might be... I think I need to bring him a letter from from uh, uh, the the lady. I could be wrong though. I think because he's not gonna trust me until I have a reason for him to trust me is, is my thinking. <laughs> this week's schedule, morning, collection, afternoon, delivery, evening, practice. This week's motto, don't slack off. The heavens and the wife are watching. Oh. Well. Maybe it almost implies that he is a dead wife, but that'd be. Yeah, that's the mayor saying that. Maybe it's his wife is watching, the mayor's wife. <laughs> oh, man. Four, five, six. Wah, well, you startled me. Do not disrupt my training. I, in, in my mind, I am running for exactly 10 seconds without looking at a clock. I was in the middle of mental training. You may make fun of me, but this is quite difficult. Will you try? Proceed to start. Count 10 seconds. In the precise moment you think you've hit 10 on the dot, press A again. 1, 1,000, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 000, 8, 1,000, 9, 1,000, 10. Ah! Oh, almost. That was a close one. Oh, nothing, just talking to myself. Look at you, you want to try again? Oh, it's going to cost me rupees. What a scam. Hello, dead wife. <laughs> I never thought of that now. <laughs> Whoops. I'm making this dark game a little darker by accident. 
think you're right. There's also a pendant story, if I remember correctly, in Second the Thief. Yes. Oh, man. Yeah. Slowly. That, that does all sound very familiar. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand, seven, one thousand, eight, one thousand, nine, one thousand, ten. Ah. Man, they really... They really want you to be precise. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand, seven. That was too soon. Ah! I jumped again. <laughs> Preston. <laughs> yeah, the whole thing is the longest chain of events, if I recall correctly. Yeah, exactly. That's that's why it's the tough one. <laughs> I see that copper face. <laughs> one, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Three, one thousand. Four, one thousand. Five, one thousand. Six, one thousand. Seven, one thousand. Eight, one thousand. Nine, one thousand. Getting slightly closer each time. At least they made it cheap. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand, six thousand, seven thousand, eight thousand, nine thousand. Hey! I did it! Whew! Huh? Ten seconds? That is amazing! You have the reflexes suitable for a postman! As thanks for showing me something impressive, I give you this! Hey! Got a piece of heart. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I wonder if you get under like 10 point, like 10.1, if they just are like, ah, you got it. I can't be like this! I'll have to train more, more! You showed your wild instincts. I don't remember how to get the bunny hood. Because I know there's more with this guy. I'm pretty sure. Where was he? Oh, there he is. Oh, I guess those were like each of the times that I could have gotten that. Yeah, so he... I'm definitely not done with him. Oh. Oh, it is a mask. Oh, I see. So it just shows them. I see. It's just multiple times of, of the week where you could get the same exact thing. I gotcha. This all makes sense now. Okay, so his next time slot is not far after this. So it's in it's in the evening, I guess. And then first thing in the morning. I don't remember what his thing is, though. Wait, you don't get the postman's camp at some point? No, I don't think so. Maybe you do. I thought he gave you the bunny hood, but maybe I'm... Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe he does give you the postman cap. Oh. Yeah, never mind. I'm crazy. I don't know where you get the bunny hood then. Okay. What do I got? It's 3 o'clock. Hmm. Andrew... Has a thing... Oh, promise to meet in the kitchen. Oh, yeah! There's that tiny little sliver of time right before the postman shows. So I guess I need to do it before she delivers her f that food. Like, right before. Okay. Okay. This is all making sense now. Oh, that's cool, too. Okay, so it's two separate tracks. I'm starting to, to understand this, this UI now. <laughs> but damned if I remember how. For the bunny hood, you just need chicken mask, I think, to get the little chickens to dance. Oh, I think you're right. I thought he just gave you a piece of heart, but maybe he does give you the bunny hood. What was I going to do here? I was going to go to get beans. Deep inside Romani's ranch, I guess. Yeah, I, I don't remember where I get the, the chicken mask. I don't think I have the chicken mask, do I? Okay, yeah, I don't have it yet. Uh, but I, I definitely do need that. What am I looking for? Looking for this guy. 
Oh, well, maybe after I buy beans, I'll just... Maybe I should just go... I think I'm gonna go uh, deliver those fish before I do any of this, because once I start the Skullchilla house, I'll probably not want to leave. And it's it's in this area. And it's not far. I just gotta go right here. It's time to feed the fishes. Whoop, whoop, whoop. That was weird. There we go. Okay, fishy friend. It's time for you to get big and beefy. <laughs> oh no. I love this little surprise challenge. It just like seems so out of nowhere. And the only way you'll ever notice it is if you just pay attention. I think that's pretty clever. Yeah, maybe it was only three? Okay, he's still going. There's a big ol' fishy. Oh, well, I want this. The Bremen Chicken Mask is the Clock Town's laundry pool. Is at the Clock Town's laundry pool. Laundry pool. <gasps> yeah! Big ol' fish. Why'd you eat your only friend, though? You're totally right. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, there's a, a time of the day that he's just... The, the guy is just hanging out there. During the first or the second night only. Big lonely... <laughs> big fish, lonely fish. That is basically how it just went. It's a little sad. I think, anyway. But, you know. Animals are jerks. <laughs> But yeah, no, you're totally right. I, I completely forgot that uh, the the kind of like ghoulish looking guy shows up at night in the laundry pool. Alright, let's go get some magic beans. <laughs> how, do you dr how do you drive this thing? Hashtag dad jokes. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, I think it's over... I know where there's one definite spot where he is. Oh, no! Yeah, this might still be the fastest way. Oh, wait. I'm gonna have to deal with, uh... The big Octo, but I can just shoot him. Oh, I don't have any... Ah, oh, man. Well, can I bubble him? Probably not. Let's find out. Maybe I can hookshot him? Ow, why do you do that? Well, let's see what happens if I pull out old trusty hook and chain. Get out of here, man. There you go. Not dealing with your nonsense. And now you. Hey, there we go. The laundry pool is a place with the, the bell and the little fairy. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I do need to... Oh, no. Oh, I needed those. Poison water. 
Oh. Apparently the poison water's not so bad this time of the year. Maybe it's because I have a... Uh, the, um... Like, reinforced health? That's... That's a little surprising, but alright. Of course, I'm still gonna need arrows to get in there. Unless... No, there's no way it's gonna stay burned down. Oh, but I'll just get them while I'm booping around the, the Deku Palace. Oh, maybe that water wasn't poison yet? It might just get poison once you get close over here. Purple equals poison. Yeah, I, I didn't. I'm I'm colorblind, so I don't see purple super well. But as soon as I entered that area, I was like, wait, this seems a little bit like foggy or indifferent, and I just kind of forgot that that was a thing. Oh no! Ah man. Gotta get that momentum. Whoops. Whammo blammo. Yeah, might as well get some Deku nuts. Alright, take me to the bean master if he's not in here then he's inside the the palace come on I know there's at least a hole in the ground over here somewhere pretty sure unless it's more obvious no oh it is getting dark out though I swear I'm not crazy am I crazy I might be crazy. I thought there was a hole over here. Well, I guess I'll just go back inside the uh, Deku Palace and play the sneaky game. <laughs> Whoops. I have to wonder why purple. They do it in Mario 2. All the purple stuff is is insta death. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, it's it's less abrasive to your eyes, I guess, than than just like throwing red at you. Um, and like red consistently is like lava or heat. So maybe it's like purple. Yeah, purple is just like poison. Oftentimes, like, what what about purple makes it poison maybe it has something to do with like purple is is often the the color of royalty and who do you poison the most usually royalty for sneaky uh, subterfuge and and uh, assassinations eh? that's probably stretching the truth but that's what I want to believe now <laughs> Was this it? This might have been it. <laughs> I like your easy on the eyes idea. That's probably it. Yeah, that's... I, I feel like... It's got to be something along those lines anyway. But who knows? Yeah, I don't know. What's up, Magic Bean Master? I've come to take your beans. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. uh. At least his prices don't get more expensive as he goes. I have to go. It's been fun to watch. Thank you and good luck with the rest of the game. Thank you so much for hanging out. Magic Kai. I'm, I'm glad you had a good time. And I hope you have a good rest of your night as well. Uh, 
I'll just buy a ton of these things. I'll probably use them. Maybe one more. Where does that put me at? Seven. I'll buy one more for good measure. Never hurt to have too many beans on hand. Probably. All right, let's boogie. Uh, yeah, maybe I do still want to be the Deku scrub. Doesn't really matter if they kick me out, but let's see if my master stealth speed run tactics will work. Oh, look at that! I didn't expect him to just turn around like that. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! It's like I was never here. Although you really gotta give kudos to the magic bean guy for somehow sneaking his way into their fortress. Do I have arrows? I still don't have arrows. Hmm, I should remedy that. Just gotta find some bushes to, to tear apart. I bet you there were some bushes inside there that might have... Yeah, I doubt I chopped down all those bushes. Whoops! Hmm. No, no, no. No, no, no. Although maybe these guys will drop some arrows? That'd be pretty swell. Well, nothing from that guy, and nothing from that guy. Beautiful. I don't have any Deku sticks. I have a Deku nut. That definitely won't be enough. Womp womp. All right. I feel like there's not really going to be much over by, well, maybe. I'll poke my head in there. Otherwise, it might just be faster to go back to where the witches are. Did they build fortress around magic bean guy? <laughs> it's possible. I mean, he has magic beans. He doesn't even really have to leave his hole, right? <laughs> there are always more bushes to, to chop. That's the hope. Hey, there we go. Here's some scattered ones that seem to only have magic. Ah, ah. Ah, we'll just play the uh, leave and come back game. Yeah, I feel like those are always going to be magic. Hmm. I should always stock up on arrows before I do anything. Alright, I'm just going to go back to the witches, because I think it'll be faster that way. Hey, Wellendor, what's up, man? How's it going? Hiya! Oh, boy. Everything is good. Everything is great. Oh, boy. We're on mask collection at this point. Well, you came just in time for the good stuff. Uh, sure. What could go wrong if I shoot down a beehive? Oh, well, I won't complain about that. Oh, 
Oh no! Oh man. <laughs> Good luck with that. Are you 100%ing these games? Not all of them, but any of the ones that it's reasonable to do so. So I think, uh, depending on how the CDI games go, I, I may not 100% them. I might just try to endure them. But who knows? It might just require you to 100% them anyway, just because they don't have that complexity of content. <laughs> there we go. Well, at least I have some Deku sticks. So at a bare minimum, I can burn down that net. But we'll chop these while we're here. Uh, but so far, I completed, I 100%ed most of them. I may not have 100%ed the original Zelda, but I did play the second, uh, the second map. So that kind of counts for something, right? There we go. Backup stick. Perfect. It is getting dangerously close to 11.30 though. I mean, I have, what, two and a half hours? All right. I can probably make progress before I gotta go talk to um, Ange and then we can, I, I mean, it keeps the progress in the Skulchula. Whoa, in the Skulchula house. I'm pretty sure. So I'm not too worried about it. I have made a risk. Oh, man. I didn't get the momentum going. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. You know what? I'm just going to hop on this dock just in case I make another silly mistake and I don't have to bounce my way back across all of that. Whew. Okay. Dunzo. Grab a good old handy dandy Deku stick and whack that door. Hiya! More than I've done. Eh, I mean, it's really all of it is is about having a good time. So, although I'll probably strangely enjoy the CDI games more than I probably should, as miserable as they'll they'll make me. <laughs> but I still look forward to them. Okay. It's bug, bug time. So I think if I just like put this next to the wall, they should crawl up there. And I think not all of them need to go in there. Oh, maybe it's just gonna force them all to anyway. Which ones are those? It's like Link the Faces of Evil. Uh, oh yeah, it does force them all to go in there. Well, I'll just go back upstairs and get more of those bugs. Uh, Faces of Evil is one. There's uh, uh, Zelda Wand of Gamelon. And then there's Zelda's Adventure. And they're all horrible. And I'm going to be very sad. But people were super, super nice and donated a ton of money so that I could buy a CDI. So it's going to happen without a doubt. Oh, there's more rocks in here. Good. Mo rocks means mo spiders. I guess they're more beetles than anything. Get over here! Which technically, the CDI games came earlier in the chronology, but, eh, you know, sometimes you just gotta skip ahead.
Bam, all right. Full suite of bugs. I think that dog actually does help you. I don't remember what he tells you though. Okay, something tells me Hookshot is going to be my best friend here. I don't think I got this one yet. Yeah. Get him out of there. I think I'll fly back to Clock Town around... I'll probably do it at 11 because time is still slowed. So I probably won't miss... I'll, I'll have plenty of time to get to where I need to go. Will this even reach? Ooh. It will. I just got to scoot back a little bit. Hey, 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 hey. I'm glad I waited for the hookshot. So maybe I don't need the hookshot for this one. And maybe I need it more for uh, the um, the ocean one. The ocean spider house. Perfect. What's this say? Please feel free to take our fresh spring water home with you. Oh! So maybe in this one I have to water the the, the seedlings. Man, this is a great challenge though to have headphones for. Because it really helps um, you know when you're close to these skull chillas or not. Okay, so I think the rest are on the top floor, so I'll come back and get those guys. Gotcha! Give me that! Gotta smush all the bugs. I, I kind of like how they, they switched up the Skulltula stuff in this game, too. I feel like... It's, it, I mean, they, they, oh man, well, I could probably just go around. Um, I felt, feel like they stayed true to how you, they sort of want you to like explore and, and collect things throughout the levels like they did in Ocarina. They just changed that to be more of the, um, the fairy fragments now. But they kept the Skulltula as, like, their own little challenge. Okay, so this is just a magic bean spot. Which means I probably should collect some spring water. Yo. So I'll get a couple of bottles of that. Two bottles of water, two bottles of bugs. Perfect. All right, let's go water this guy. I like that they put those other soft dirt patches that don't do anything out of your reach, so you can't just like waste the magic beans. Although maybe some of these I don't actually need to put beans in since I have a hook shot, but that's fine. Yeah, I probably could have reached this guy. That's okay. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh, look at you, sneaky. Oh, I missed him. Come on. I'm gonna get you. There we go. I had to go and rely on the L targeting. Yes! Ha ha ha. All right, perfect. What time is it? Okay, it's 11. So I'm going to fly back to Clock Town. We're going to take care of our business. And then we'll come back here. We got a third of the way through, though. That's, that's some pretty decent progress. 
<laughs> Sorry, buddy. I'm just gonna leave you here to be eternally cursed. NBD. Oh, I might need to sneak my way back inside the inn. That'll be fine. It just means it'll take a little bit more time than I thought it would. Okay. And then while I'm here, whoop. Nope, sorry, did not mean to do that. And then while I'm here, might as well go talk to Spooky Guy in the uh, the laundry pool. Oh, I think there's something that happens if you ring that bell. I could be wrong, but that it seems familiar to me. Alright, Ange. She'll be here eventually. In the meantime, I'm gonna steal some more bugs. I hear her walking around. Yeah, I don't think that's this guy. There you are. Yeah, I'll just meet you in the kitchen. I don't think I show her the, the pictograph yet, but I don't remember what the next step is here. I'm a squish you. I'm a squish you. Uh, I had a moment of like, oh, can I crawl underneath these? Oh, right, time is slowed, so of course she's going to walk slower. <laughs> That's fine. It'll take more time to speed up time and then slow it back down than to just wait. I feel like this soup must be burnt to a crisp at this point. Okay, so she gets here right at midnight, I guess. I'm sorry to trouble you late at night. It's about him, Cafe. I received a letter from him. Strange, isn't it? Getting a letter from a missing person. But there's absolutely no mistaking it's from him. It's clear to me. Please. Here's my letter. Please put it, this in a post box. When this is delivered, when he receives my letter, you should be able to meet him. Please tell him that Anju is waiting for him. And please, after you've seen him, tell me how he looked. I'm scared. I, I can't go. Can I ask this of you? Thank you very much. Oh, I thought I had to take a picture of him, but... Maybe I do that the second time around? Please mail it immediately in the morning. Easy peasy. Except I still didn't do the uh, the thing where I get the room, so I won't be able to do everything. Um, but at least I can start putting some of these pieces together. Because I know I'm going to keep messing something up. Um, okay, so now it's a question of... Should I... Yeah, I'll just go back to the Skulchula house. And then I think as soon as dawn hits, I'll I'll come back to uh Clocktown. Is 
This actually might be... Might be closer. Oh, yeah, I guess I don't really need you. And maybe not as fast as I hoped it would be, but it helps. I love that you can drop those. Oh, I need those arrows. Yeah, there we go. So these little, like, missile Deku nuts. Oh, man. No, that's okay. Oh, oh, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, boy. <laughs> Well, I guess at least kind of took me close. Hey, there we go. Get rid of that guy. Oh, no. Joke's on you. Can't get me now. Oh. Oh. Oh, that actually got him. <laughs> eh, it's probably fine. Uh oh. I needed to get closer. Whoops. No. Oh. What's even in here at this point? I think this was a heart piece before. Oh, now it's just a recovery heart. I see how it is. Ow! Yeah, maybe this wasn't tremendously faster. Oh, no! That's one of them. Get out of my way. And out of here. Where is that? Oh, is it this way? Yeah, I think it is. Yep, there we go. Perfect. All right, back in action. You leave me alone, doggo. You're only ever mean to me, and I don't appreciate it. Uh, I think we were in the left room. So we'll pick up where we left off in there. Yeah, I think... Most of the rest of these guys are up here now. Is that the last guy in here? Sounds pretty quiet. Must be good. Okay, so we have a dirt patch over there. Some of these guys are crawling on uh, these little pillars like this. Gotcha. Oh. 
Well, I guess then we just take a different path. Oh, actually, I think that's the the funnel point where we always return to. Oh, oh, never mind. Should I worry about you? What's with that deco scrub? He's just sleeping here like a lazy fool. What a pain. Uh, I think I have a song for this. Oh, Sonata of Awakening. Okay, yeah. Right, of course. That's... Yeah! We literally use this to get into the temple. Wake up! I need to kill you! Oh, oh, oh. Alright, there you go. You're just running around. Alright, alright. Is that... Is that it? Was I supposed to open this way for him? What is he even doing here? Maybe nothing. Alright, well. Easy peasy, I guess. Ow! Almost halfway done with this. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Oh, wait, maybe. I think maybe I needed to do this. Is this right? Because I know it's not a, like, try to get inside the, the giant vase. Or maybe it is. Okay, yeah, maybe that is what I need to do. I thought that it'd be like a... Yeah, let's try curling. Hmm. Ah, there we go. So maybe it's just ground pounding near the right ones? Yeah, because I know standing on top of him doesn't do much. There we go. I, I'm pretty sure there was two. And that's all I needed to really worry about. Alright, you're next, buddy. I guess I didn't really need to do the hook shot, but that's fine. <laughs> uh, what's through here? Oh, this is the... Okay, so this is the, the yellow room, or the gold room. I guess there were some guys just crawling around down there. Uh, but I think, more importantly, I need to lower a ladder? Maybe I'm crazy. Hey, yeah, what happens if I hit this? Oh, there we go. Okay, so that's the easy way to get on the other side. Oh, hey there. I think I saw one up here too. Yeah. Wahaha. Whoop. <laughs> Can I reach him? Oh, he's sneaky. All right, let's see. I just don't want to. Whoop! I don't want to fall down yet because I know there's more. Aha! Here we go. I know there's more in the the other room that I want to take care of first. Okay, I think that's good. Yeah, I got pretty quiet too. All right, cool. Then back to the Deku area. Yep. 
Oh, there are, whoops, there are definitely a Skullchilla or two. Yep. Almost missed this guy. Oh, there's two in here still. Aha! Can't hide from me. Oh, that's a bee. Oh, those are just bees. Ow. Get out of here, bees. Why are bees so tough? Seven more sculptures to go. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so this is just the other side. The the spot that I failed to fly to the first time. Alright, let's get uh, some bugs. Speaking of which. Go, my minions! Dig out the Skulchilla! Perfect. Is there any more in here? That's pretty quiet. I thought there was one that I could knock down if I rolled into a pillar, but maybe not. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll just hop down. I think I have a bean I need to sprout over here too. I'm pretty sure that's how I, I'm supposed to get into that little hole in the wall. Yep. Alright. These guys. I'm gonna plant this little beauty. And we're going to water this little beauty. Beautiful. Ooh. Oh, I kind of remember this room. I think it's got a big tree. Yeah. So maybe this is what I was thinking of. Yep. <laughs> cool. I'm glad I'm not totally crazy. Oh, of course these little jerks go crawling around inside there. Not for long. I see those little legs popping out. Whoops. Whoops. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Oh, there was another one. I think there's still one more in here, though. Um, might be a hook shot to a beehive thing. Yep. It's got to be one of these. Gotcha. Hey, you collected all of the gold Skulltula spirits. The curse is now lifted. And there's still time to spare, although not a ton. So I got a boogie. That was fun. I like these little challenges. Well, hi there, friendo. Oh, I've been saved. I thought I was going to die. You see, a while back, someone told me I could become rich if he... and gave me this mask. He said the instructions were inscribed somewhere in here, but when I went to look, I was cursed. If I had known it would be such an ordeal, I would have never would have taken it here. Take it as yours. Yeah, the mask of truth. This is the same mask the Sheikah spoke of. This mask allows you to hear and understand the wisdom of gossip stones and the thoughts of animals. I've had enough of this. As soon as I get it together, I'm going home. Now I can talk to the dog. Yeah. Dog friend, speak to me. Oh, stupid master, his eyes are always filled with greed and desire. That's true. 
<laughs> uh, it's so funny. Okay. Maybe there's still time to find the creepy guy that I forgot to see at the laundry pool. Whoops. I'm very good at forgetting things. It's still dark out. Still technically nighttime. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, get out of here, man. I don't want to deal with your nonsense. Yeah, yeah. I know. Did you do the lottery? Oops! I think I did. I don't remember. Oh man. Yeah, he's not here. I probably just had to catch him in the dead of the night. La la la, they said I was too loud when I practiced in my room. They got mad, sigh, now I'm sad. I'll just think about the past to keep my mind off the bad. Ah yes, I'll do that. Do guest. Long ago I was in an animal troop with dogs and donkeys and such. Why could a why could a why could a man join? That's because a man is an animal, too, my boy. Oh, maybe this guy gives you the mask. I might be thinking of the wrong guy. They were all great, but there was one thing... Oh, I'm totally thinking of the wrong guy. It's the other guy that gives you the other thing. Uh, they were all great, but there was one thing I didn't like about it. Why was the... Why was the... Why was the dog the leader? Was it because something was wrong with me, sir? Oh, that dog was an amazing leader. He always had a stellar troop, no matter what animals he had to work with. That's why I... That's why I... That's why I stole it. The dog's mask. I stole it. I wanted it because it was the leader's mask. But no long, I no longer need it. I give it to my guest. A little... A little kooky, buddy. You got the Bremen mask. The mask belonged to the leader of the animal troop. Try parading around tiny young animals. The leader was a good instructor. His members matured quickly and they became adults in an instant. You listened to his confession of guilt. This was added to the notebook. Oh, he won't teach me the song. Cool. Well, I got that. Now let's go see if there's time for the lottery. I don't remember what time it said it was going to close. But... I never know. At the very least, I can write down that number. Although, I wonder if they'll tell you the winning numbers even if you didn't enter. Probably not. Oh! Oh, it's 6 to 11. Darn. Okay, well, I'll get a one of these one of these attempts. Okay, so now I need to go drop off the letter. I might as well do that now before I get too far away from here. So first, th first things first. I'm gonna resume normal time. Yes. I like how he's just kind of like, whoa. All right, we'll get this guy going. I will indeed deliver this mail. ka -ching. Your letter has been received. Shall be delivered tomorrow. I just wonder, do I have to take a photo of him grabbing it, or do I try to talk to him? I know there's something else with the bell. Does it say something? Those with business, please ring bell. No solicitors. The curiosity shop. Oh. Interesting. Maybe I gotta g 
grab it while he's grab or get in there while he's grabbing the letter. I don't remember. Oh, I, I think the song of storms is important for Akana Canyon, if I'm remembering correctly. So maybe I learned the song there. Ah, there we go. Hanging out on a bench. <laughs> I don't remember if it does anything if I ring that bell. He might poke his head out and be like, stop that. A random crate. All right. Oh, can I like? <laughs> It'd be really mean if I could just use this stone mask to sneak past him. No. <laughs> I just kind of want to try this anyway. Oh, he stopped checking it. Darn it. I got my hopes up. Okay, well at some point he's got to poke his head out. I wonder, is he even in my notebook yet? Probably not because he'd be right underneath her, right? Yeah, without a doubt. Still a lot of people I gotta figure out how to help. Yeah, I can't remember if he runs away if he sees me standing near the mail, too. What's up, frog friend? At some point, I'm gonna do your thing, too. rupees on the other side of that. Is that a thing I'm supposed to be able to get around? Oh, weird. Hmm. Yeah, one of these days. Unless there's something on the other side of the uh, that door that'll take me in there. Hope I didn't mess this up. Was I supposed to find a way to tell him that he got mail? Or maybe the mailman will actually bring it. That'd be interesting. I never did figure out what the other thing was with the mailman, either. What's up, mailman? Let's see, it's day two. I feel like the other thing with the mailman was day two, right? Oh, interesting. Okay, so... That's depositing the letter. So there's something else at the very, very end with the mailman. Interesting. Hmm. I hear him running around. 
Uh, maybe he went into another section of the town. So maybe this is the last mailbox. Man, that's definitely the struggle of like, some, it's just hard to know whether or not you're doing the right thing or if you're just kind of sitting and wasting your time. I guess I could follow the mailman around. I'm just worried that Cafe will come out, you know? Where's, there you are. Maybe he... So I, it might not matter where I deliver that letter. Maybe it's more of a matter of like... I don't know. Using it, him to lure me to cafe. Yeah, are you going to take it up to him? Where are you going, man? Oh, he might be going back to the post office. I see. So then... Maybe it's around like three o'clock that he uh, goes back on his rounds and actually delivers the mail. That might explain it. Okay, so then what does it say for Anju? Yup, I think it is something like that. So he delivers the mail, and then I can meet Cafe, Cafe. So I might as well hang out with the mailman and see if he has anything to say. Oh, he's sleeping? Oh, he is. There was only one letter today. It's so sad. But I shall deliver it perfectly. Okay. Yeah, and then the schedule says, what, 3 o'clock? Oh, it just says afternoon. Okay. Okay. Now I'm picking up what they're putting down. So I gotta follow the mailman to deliver this. I wonder if I have the mailman hat though, if I can just kinda like sneak over or just like deliver the mail in person. It'd be interesting. I think he goes home for a nap before delivering. Yeah, definitely. His, his wife definitely died or something. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. Something, something must have happened to him. Oh. Yeah, well, you know. Looks like this place is about to close. Oh, man. Oh. Well, I guess afternoon was a lot faster than I expected. I assume he's just going to go straight there, right? Yeah. No, where are you going? Unless he doesn't know where to go. I'm just going to follow him. Except before you mentioned that, I always saw him as just having the best work ethic ever. <laughs> it could be both. That's all I'm saying. Is he just wasting time? He might just be wasting time. He's like, I just want to explore the town a bit today. You've warped my fragile little mind. <laughs> yes. I see no greater uh, mark to leave on, on this world. <laughs> there's a... Oh, there's a treasure chest up there. I bet you that's a another, like, big rupee. Yes! Okay, he's definitely going up here. Perfect. So this is probably my chance to sneak in there. I wonder how you do this. I bet you he'll notice me if I'm not wearing the stone mask. So I wonder how they... Whoa, I can push the frog around? Oh, I can. Back into the water with you. Whoops. But yeah, I wonder how they expect you to do this 
without the stone mask, or maybe that is actually a prerequisite. <laughs> nice. So you can actually put him in the water. Oh, excuse me, cafe. Excuse me. I'm just gonna sneak inside your domain. <laughs> I'm heading to bed now. Good night. I'll say good night to you in just a little bit, Jen. We're getting pretty close to wrap up time. <laughs> Infiltration complete. Oh, this is... Oh, maybe I can't look through here yet. But I think this is where you see inside the curiosity shop. Uh, hey there. Green hat, green clothes, and you wrote about you in her letter. It seems you're looking for her cafe. Can you keep a secret? Of course I can. And you trusted you. I shall also trust you. <gasps> Goodness. I am cafe. The cafe we were looking for is an adult. When I look at you, I just see a child. I was turned into this by a strange imp wearing a mask. But I'm not hiding because I look this way. When I was turned into this, I went to see the great fairy in the shrine near the north gate. But on the way, my precious mask, a wedding ceremony mask, was stolen from me by some prancing man with a grinning face. Well, you're just careless like my partner. Before my wedding ceremony, I was quite happy. I was targeted because of what I had been turned into. Oh my, I pity you. I know Andrew is worried, but I can't go out yet. I made a promise to her that I would bring the wedding mask and greet her. This pendant, give it to Andrew. You accepted the pendant of memories. Though you may not understand these grown-up matters, you should probably take the pendant to Andrew anyway. Keep what we just talked about secret from everyone. The mysterious youth cafe was added to your notebook. You've been entrusted with a precious item. Perfect. Of course, I still don't think I can complete this until I find a way to get into that room. But I think I've got all the right pieces together now. Um, at a certain point, I know he's cafe's got to hook me up with the curious curiosity shop and I get to see some shit go down um, but I think for the final step I have to be able to be adjacent to Andrew's room I could be wrong though we'll find out I did meet him. Surprise, fool! Ah. It's from Cafe. Th th thank you very much. The face looks so happy. Uh, I've decided to wait for him. I've made my promise. I'm fine with this. I believe him. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, so I think that's the point in which I have to... go into this room. Man, that stinks. Oh well. Okay, well before I forget, I'm gonna do one last thing of go inside that hole in the ground that I saw the um, the Deku scrub fly into. I wanna see what kind of shenanigans he's hiding in there. Is there really any value to planting anything there? Yeah, there's a heart piece or something. I don't know. Oh, it's right here. Whoops, I almost went entirely around this. Uh, 
that's just a lot of bugs. Oh, do I have to watch him come down here? I might have to. Oh, back to town super quick then. Do I have bugs in, on me still? I do. Let's see if this does anything. It probably is just rupees, but it's one good way to find out. Hey, rupees. I think it's this way. Right? No, no, I am crazy. It is up here. Just gotta go back to the telescope room. Well, hey there, little kid. Whoops. I just wanted to get to the good text. Okay, so it's 52431. 5243. Three, one. That's right, I did it. You can't stop me. I don't know why I put on the Deku mess last time. It's not like it's that much quicker to hop over the walls. Or the water, I mean. <laughs> this felt like there should be more secrets in here. But I guess... It's just, like, my dungeon instincts. Trying to be like, There's probably more to this! Because it feels like a dungeon. Okay, let's look in that telescope. I will look in there. I'm gonna follow Sneaky McSneakerson. And I could have sworn that there was some thief that you could watch also, but maybe that's the other telescope. I don't remember where it is. Oh. What's up, rando guy? <laughs> is it just me, or does it look like Clocktown is... It looks really weird. There you go. I see you're sneaking around. Boom. Alright. Got him. Oh wait. I don't want to go in there. I want to go down here. Gonna avoid you. Okay, now we can just fly back outside and then go jump in that hole in the ground. So we gotta go 
Oh, this is nice and close. Almost got it. All right. Show me the goods. Yeah, that's right. I found your secret stash. Ah, what are you doing here? This is my secret storage unit. It's a problem if you come in here without permission. Please, I'll sell you a piece of heart if you just keep this place a secret. 150 rupees. Oh, f you... No, don't leave. Ah, why you gotta make the price so steep? Well, that sucks. Well, now I know at least. Always come prepared with more money. And I almost went to that little secret 100 rupee spot and I was like, ah, there's no need to right now. Whoops. Uh, all right, well, I think I'm gonna call the stream here. It's 1140. The stream is a little short, but it also ended a little late. So it kind of balances out a little bit, but um, I'll be back on tomorrow. Playing some Metroid, continuing the Metroid Chrono stream. And we get to start Super Metroid, which I've never played in my entire life, so I'm pretty excited about that. But thank you everyone for hanging out. I'm going to find someone to send a raid at. Uh, let's see who's online. So we have ARMY. What's ARMY playing? Everyone's gone to the Rapture. I've been wanting to check that out for quite a while. Dewey's on. Gamer Journey is on. Yeah, let's throw uh, a army a raid. <laughs> Rapture. I hardly know her. That's a Jimbo joke right there. And I'm okay with that. Cool. Well, the raid has started. Thank you again, everyone, for hanging out. I hope you had a good time, and I hope you have a good rest of your night. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.